Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I've got a fun and pretty simple card for you today using the Pets and More stamp set. This is an online exclusive stamp set. You won't find it in any catalogs. It's on the Stampin' Up! website. And it's one of our reversible stamps. So we're not going to use the reversible part for this card, um, but it's so easy. I just have to show you. You stamp the cute little detailed image, you clean your stamp, you peel it off, and you put it on your block backwards. And then you stamp the solid background onto the image and it fills it in, so no coloring. So that can make it pretty quick. Now we're making it even quicker because we're not gonna color at all. Um, we're also using the perennial postage stamp set for the sentiment. Thank you for your friendship right there. This is actually a card that I made for um, a uh, demonstrator event for my downline in Houston when we went for on stage. We had a couple of projects to do and this was one of them. I couldn't wait to play with this stamp set. There are some really cute samples online if you're looking for more ideas. All right, we're gonna stamp the owl in Smoky Slate ink on Smoky Slate cardstock. And then we're gonna stamp the bunny in pecan pie ink on just basic white. Now there are no dies for this uh, stamp set, so we're gonna have to go old school with our scissors, but it's pretty easy. Just stay right on the outside of that out, uh, outer edge. Leave just a tiny uh, cardstock gray border, if you will, on this one, and just go around and try to move the paper with your opposite hand and stay right there in the middle of your blade and you should have a perfect uh, cut image. All right, we're gonna do the same thing with a bunny. I love his little one eye. He, his name would be Spot at my house. We had bunnies for a while, but we never had one with spots. He's cute. We do have a dog that has a spot, spotted eye. Actually, half her face is one color and the other half is another color. All right, that was probably information you didn't need, but hey, now you know. <laughs> All right, finish cutting out your bunny. There we go. Now, the other really star of this card are the two tags I cut. Now, I have to mention this die set. This, these are the tailor-made tag, tailor tag dies, some of my very favorite in the annual catalog, and they are retiring. So right now, they are while supplies last. Um, get them if you don't have them. I even have a couple of sets um, so that I can cut multiple tags. So if you're at Christmas time making a bunch of tags, you can run two or three at a time through your cut and emboss machine and make multiple tags uh, with just one swipe of your machine. Now it also has this these two little dies right here, which are the little tabs. So I have cut the tabs from um, Pecan Pie cardstock. This tag is cut from uh, our glorious gingham designer series paper, which also is leaving us at the end of April. You have until May 1st or while supplies last. All right, I'm going to take this and just use my take your pick tool. Set it right there in the glue. When I do um, swap cards. Now this isn't a swap card, but I think this would make a great swap card. When I do swap cards, I try to keep it as simple as possible. Um, maybe this wasn't what everybody would consider simple, but for me, it's pretty simple. Now I have cut a piece of pecan pie designer series paper, also from the uh, neutrals designer series paper stack. And I'm going to stamp the sentiment thank you for your friendship, on a piece of basic white that looks a little bit like maybe I cut it crooked. What do you guys think? How about we cut, how about, let's see, do I have extra white over here? I usually do. Let's stamp it and cut it again. All right, I'm gonna stamp it right on the edge in memento black. Well, now I stamped it crooked. <laughs> but you know what, if you stamp first then cut, you can correct your crookedness. I'm just gonna line it up along the edge and cut it. Just into a skinny strip is all we need. All right, the last piece of the puzzle is a piece of basic white. Now you may not be able to see this, but I have embossed it with the um, exposed brick uh, embossing folder. 
which is probably my favorite embossing folder in the whole collection. We're gonna put this on a uh, four and a fourth by five uh, Berry Burst card base. By the way, there is a free PDF on my blog um, that has the measurements and supply list for both of these cards. All right, let's put our tags down first, and I'm doing them flat with stamp and seal. And we'll put it just kind of down a little bit like that. Let's make that a little bit straighter. Take your strip of DSP and just put it kind of right across the bottom like, like that. And then we're gonna take our little bun bun, that's what we call our rabbits, bun buns, and use a dimensional on the back of each one. All right, we're gonna put that owl first and then our bunny like that. I thought they made a, a fun little pair. Um, I think probably most people are gonna gravitate to the cat and the dog stamps in this set. So I thought, you know what, let's, let's go with the more unusual animals, the less common. And I found a good sentiment that I thought went really well with them. Of course, you could make this card any sentiment you wanted. Now I'm gonna take my paper snips and just snip the ends like that. And we'll put that right down here across there. All right, and on the end side of my card, I'm gonna put a, put a piece of basic white cardstock, just to fancy it up a little bit. And then last but not least, we've got linen thread, which had rolled across my desk. And I'm going to just tie a bow. You know, when you have a tag, and you're gonna put a bow or, or you know ribbon or twine on it, you don't actually have to get it, tie it through that little hole. You can just fake it by using a glue dot. It's faster and less tedious. And I'm gonna put that right there. And there you go, a pretty fast and easy card. All right, now I have two other uh, pets and more cards for you on my blog. So make sure you click the link here on YouTube and go back and check those out. Grab that free PDF. Let me know if you have questions. Thanks everybody. Bye-bye.